Now I just have a couple of what I think are very significant notes here from the uh, most recent survey about how they see the commercial market shaping up going forward. First of all, the, the real estate sentiment index actually increased. It had gone down the two previous quarters. Basically, I think what had happened there was the respondents to the survey early on had thought things might turn a little bit more quickly in Florida than they actually did. So they, the two previous quarters, they kind of backed off that a little bit. And now maybe they have a little bit more realistic expectations about where the market on the commercial side is going to go. The next thing, the outlook for occupancy and rents increased across all property types. It's a great bit of news there. When you say that occupancy and rents are shoring up across markets in the state, that means that we're getting to a place where the markets are stabilizing on the commercial side. So that's an indication that with these improved outlooks for, for rent and occupancy, investors are getting to a point where they're more confident paying a given amount for a dollar of future income. They're looking at those investments and they're not seeing the same level of risk there or uncertainty that we had a couple of years ago. So we see the capitalization rate stabilizing in commercial properties. That's a big indicator that those markets are getting to the point where the investors feel like they, they're touching bottom and there's really some rational activity in the markets. The investors from the survey feel like over the next year the availability of capital is going to improve. I think they saw it some over the past year and they expect that trend to continue. They think there will be more dollars flowing to the uh, commercial property markets over the next year. So that's a really good thing. But the bottom line has to be about the economy and job growth. We need government spending to be rational and we need continued job growth for this recovery in the commercial markets to continue. The tourist revenue is trending in a very good way. When we go back and we look at the changes, first of all for Collier County, compared to last year, the tourist revenue was up 19%. That relates back to the consumer confidence. The people that came and spent money in January of this year were spending significantly more than they did last year. When you're looking at December of 11, we had a 7% increase in taxable sales in Collier County from the previous year. When you went from December of 2010 to December of 2011. So a big jump. That was the start of the, the, the data coming in to us to say that this might be a really good season. I think for most of you in the room, you've seen that this sort of spills over into the real property market. This graph looks at long-term labor force and unemployment in Collier County. Um, when you look at what's happened over the past year, Collier a year ago had 11% unemployment. It's down to 9% this year. We're trending in the right direction and moving from 11% to 9% in a 12-month period is a really good move, okay? I don't expect the employment situation to continue to improve at that pace but I do think it'll continue to improve. So I'll leave you with that happy thought. Thank you very much.